I have another part here that needs to be fixed. This part was given to me again by my neighbor. Um, what happened to this? This is a crank off a two-stroke dirt bike. Probably that same one that uh, that I fixed the case with and fixed the uh, the cylinder with. But what somebody had done here, I don't know if you can see it, they cut off about a quarter inch of the threads and boogered up the threads that are remaining at the end here a little bit. And what we need to do is similar to this side, is just put a little locating hole with a chamfer on it. And that's what he wants on this side, um, just to help and, you know, when you have the uh, stator, which I believe the stator goes here, uh, to pull it off, you need something to locate the, uh, the, the removal tool. I'm assuming that's what he wants. Uh, so what we're gonna do is clean up this end because it looks like it's just been saw cut um, flatten that drill a hole and uh, and chamfer it is really all we got to do the hard part now is we got to decide how we're going to do that a couple ways that i think we can do is i can use my lathe and grab it either here which i don't want to do or here um, and have my study rest out here and then uh, drill it and chamfer it that way. Um, I'm not entirely sure I like that because there's a gap here. And the only thing holding these two plates is the pin that holds the connecting rod. So these might bend on me. Um, what I'm going to try to do is use my mill and machine it upright like this. Put my uh, gauge blocks in here, or parallels I should say, parallels here, actually one here and one here to hold the top and let the bottom half hang, indicate it this way, flatten it and then and then drill it and then put a chamfer on the on the threads because I don't think I need to re-thread it, I think I could just find the, the lead in and fix it that way. Um, the hardest part is actually physically holding this part and uh, and getting uh, where I can I can machine it, you know, where it's held nicely and square. So let's uh, let's try with the mill. If the mill doesn't work, we will go to the lathe. But let's oh, part wants to roll. Let's see if we can mount it. Usually, what happens on relatively simple jobs like this is the most time takes up in the setup the actual work is not that long but it's just fixturing it and getting it getting it to hold I'm gonna put a longer one of these in yeah sometimes the setup can be longer than the actual job I'm just drilling a hole in this so I'm not too worried about you know if I was machining a slot or something I'm having it move but if I'm going straight down I'm pretty confident this will stay I'm happy with that. That's going to hold. All right, what I'm going to use to indicate this, so I'm going to use my Indicol indicator holder, which I think is one of my cooler tools. All right, I got my indicator on and I have my machine in neutral. Uh, just there's not you know, motor drag in it. And uh, see if we can get this thing dialed in. I got it 
pretty close by eyeball. What I do is when I initially try to zero it in is I make this gap about the same as that gap and this gap about the same just with my eyeball. And what I'll do is move this in and get it almost to zero um, as close to it. Zero that. pretty good right there. We'll see how much it moves. It's moving quite a bit. So I went one. It's a little turn, so you want to move it half. The other way. All right, so it took me a little bit. I don't know if you can see that needle going around here it's just about on zero all the way around here so what we'll do oops wrong button zero those out and take the indicator off Now I need to machine this flat, center drill it, and put my hole there. All right, the tool I'm going to use is a 3 8 inch carbide four flute end mill. That should do just fine. Remember to put it here. All right, let's bring up the table. All right, lock that into place. just took just enough material to give me a nice flat end on it and we'll put this back to zero second tool I'm going to use is a center drill. Center drills, you can see it in the camera here, are nice because they don't 
they don't walk on you. If I was to use a standard drill bit to drill this down, it would hit and then it would walk and then it'd find a hole and it'd be way over here. But having this little short tip on it allows it to come down nice and right in the center of that, nice and, and square. I think it'd be a nice hole. Let's take this out. bit of oil. So there is my hole and my chamfer. You can see the actual machining of the part um, really didn't take all that much time. It's the setup and finding all your tools and figuring out how you're going to fixture it. It sometimes can take the most time. Uh, but that's it. Now we got to address the threads. All right, on to fixing the threads. Now, what we need to do is, I don't know if it'll show up on camera here, if my camera's good enough, is we need to fix the lead-in on this. And what the lead-in is, is the very beginning of the thread, right here. You can see the thread just starting right there. So what we need to fix. So we need to chamfer that and clean up the lead in and maybe chamfer all the way around it. The only nut I could find that's the same pitch uh, and diameter, this is a 12 millimeter by 1.25 thread on it. It's a little castellated nut, um, but it won't, it won't go on there. So I think what we'll do is just do this by hand is I'll go over to my disc sander and just chamfer that and just clean up this edge because the rest of the thread that looks okay uh, just this end here so let's fix that
All right, so I ground down the lead in, put a little chamfer around the end, and what I've done, kind of off camera behind the scenes, is threaded this nut on, and, you, and what you do is you go back and forth, back and forth, and that'll clean up the threads too, but once you get a good lead in, so this nut will start, you know, square, you don't want the cross thread, and uh, there it is, screws on just like that. So here is the final, final part, everything's cleaned up, now we can use it. Cool. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.